hey guys hope you are doing well in today's video what we are going to do is we are going to integrate uh, the call manager with unique T connection using sip so basically there are two ways of integrating uh, the call manager with unity connection is using SCP and SIP. But in this video, what we are going to focus is we are going to focus uh, the integration using SIP. And in the subsequent video, what we are going to do is we are going to configure uh, the IVS stuff. So basically, which means we are going to configure call handlers uh, and few of the rules uh, like holiday uh, configuration and the direct routing rules, etc and see how uh, we can achieve this call flow so i'll talk about this call flow in the next video but at this moment our focus is to just integrate the unity connection with the call manager so let's log into the call manager so here we have uh, a call manager uh, uh, we have in the 11.5x call manager installed and what i'm going to do is first i'm going to verify if we have a internal partition so internal partition is something what we are going to use so in case if you don't have a partition you can always create a partition as per your choice like maybe voicemail partition or internal partition as per your requirement but in our case we are just using uh, it as internal partition okay so that's the partition what we have created and the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to make sure like we have uh, internal partition added in the internal CSS in case if you don't have an internal CSS or a voicemail CSS, please go ahead and click on add new and create one. And once it is created, what you need to do is you need to add the partition which you created in the uh, previous step. You have to add this partition, uh, internal partition or voicemail partition here in the CSS. So uh, in our case, it's already configured, so we don't have to do it. Otherwise, you can go ahead and create the partition in CSS and associate the partition in the CSS. All right. Now, the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to navigate to system and then security and zip trunk security profile. Click on here and click on fine. And then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to click on this particular non-secure SIP trunk profile. And then uh, what we are going to do is we are uh, going to change a few of the parameters here. Well, for example, uh, we'll keep it as uh, TCP UDP and TCP here. And in case of uh, this uh, checkbox here, right? What we are going to do is we are going to checkbox this uh, except out of dialog refer, except unsolicited notification, and except replaces header. And once we are done with this, what we are going to do is we are going to click on save. So basically this uh, particular SEP uh, trunk security profile, you have to add it in the trunk when you are going to create a trunk between the call manager and Unity connection. All right. And the next thing what we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to uh, configure a trunk. So let's go here and configure a trunk. Click on add new. So this trunk is basically between the call manager and the unity connection. Okay, so here I'll select zip trunk. And once you select SIP trunk here, you will get the uh, option on the SIP. And in trunk service type, we don't have to select anything. Let it be none by default. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a name like uh, Unity Connection SIP trunk. Maybe uh, enter a name, whatever make more sense to you. C-U-C sip trunk and we'll keep it uh, in a default uh, device full so we are not going to modify because uh, it's in our lab so in production you have to use the right device pool and the mrgl etc all the stuff so you have to choose it uh, wisely otherwise it's in our lab so we don't have to worry about much and then once you are done with this particular thing what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, come down and then what we have to do here is we have to enter the IP address of your uh, unity connection 
is the IP address of the Unity connection. So basically what you need to do is uh, you need to make sure like you are using the port as 5060 and now after that uh, you have to uh, select the trunk. So this is the same trunk but we have uh, just modified uh, a step back and uh, we have to associate or I would say we have to select this trunk from the drop down and after this trunk configuration what we have to do is we have to uh, select the standard SIF profile. So that's a standard and the very, uh, I would say like a very default SIF trunk profile, what we have to use. And then uh, here, what we are going to do is we are going to click on save and click on okay. So the trunk uh, has been added. So what we are going to do is we are going to reset this trunk, reset, and then close. So once we close this trunk, uh, reset the trunk, what we need to do is we need to create a route pattern, which is going to point to uh, the Unity correction. I'll click on add new, add new route pattern, and then, um, the number what we are going to use uh, for the unit connection is 10,049. So let's use this as 10,049. 49. I think I wrongly added one more zero. And then click on uh, the partition what we uh, created. So once this partition is uh, selected, we'll uh, enter the name as in the connection route pattern and then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, select the trunk uh, what we have used or what we have just created from here and after you uh, do this uh, you can click on save here click on ok click on ok and this option will save the route pattern towards the unity connection okay now the next thing is what we need to do is we need to create the voicemail pilot configuration so let's navigate to advanced voicemail and voicemail pilot and then if you click on find by default there will be two voicemails so we'll not use them uh, we'll um, create a new one okay so it is asking for the voicemail pilot number so we'll use the same uh, number what we have a uh, use for the route pattern for example if you see here for the uh, uh, unity connection route pattern right we have used this as 10049 so we will use the same pattern in case of the voicemail pilot here click on add new click on uh, enter the uh, number is 10049 which you have created in the previous step select the CSS uh, and then enter a description voicemail pilot okay and then click on save so uh, once you save this uh, voicemail pilot uh, configuration, the next thing is what we need to do is we need to create the voicemail profile. So navigate to advanced voicemail and the voicemail profile. Click on add new. And now here you need to enter a uh, name. I'll enter a name as VM profile and then enter a description as profile and then select the uh, number uh, pattern which we have uh, created in the previous step for the uh, voicemail pilot so uh, if you remember like in the previous step when we navigated to voicemail and voicemail pilot we added this 10049 as the voicemail pilot number so we'll select this particular voicemail pilot number here and um, use the same CSS and we don't we are not going to mask this so we'll leave the voicemail box mask as blank and we are not going to make this as default voicemail uh, profile for the system so I'll click on save so once this is saved right now so what we need to do is we need to go back to the um, phone and associate this particular uh, voicemail profile for this phone for example if you see there is a jabber profile for myself 
So if in case if I want to use a voicemail right now, it's default, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign myself as VM profile. So what will happen is if uh, somebody is trying to deposit a voicemail or maybe let's say if I'm trying to uh, hear my voicemail options, right? Maybe if it's not a Jabba, let's say it's a IP phone. And when you have the voicemail, right? Voicemail profile associated, right? Then I'll just press my uh, message button. And what it'll do is it'll connect to the Unity connection uh, by pressing the message button. If in case, if it's set to none, that means like if you press the message button, the call will not connect. So you have to make sure you select or associate the right uh, voicemail profile from here, okay? So in our case, we are uh, just using a Jabba. So, um, uh, we can uh, leave it uh, as it is. So what we are going to do is uh, we are we are going to navigate to the Unity connection and then configure uh, other rest of the configuration under Unity connection. So we'll go in the telephony uh, integration and click on the phone system. And then after you click on the phone system, by default there will be one phone system created so let's uh, use a different one or outside let's create a different uh, phone system okay so I'll go back and new phone system so maybe I'll enter it as UCC phone system okay and click on save so once you save this uh, by default like you see like the phone system cannot take calls until a port group is set use related links to add a port group. So basically now after you create the phone system, you have to add uh, the ports. So where, uh, in order to add the port, you have to go here and click on the related links and select here, add port, click on go. So as soon as you click on go here, uh, the first and the foremost thing is uh, you have to choose the protocol here. So in our case, if you remember the phone system, uh, there were there was a default phone system which we have not used, so we have created a new phone system. So we are going to use this as uh, phone system as UCC phone system. And next is you have to select uh, the port from here. So we'll select uh, as a SIP instead of SCCP because if you remember, like as I mentioned in the beginning of the uh, call, like there are two ways of integration. One is using SIP and one is using SCCP. So in this video, we are going to focus on SIP. So let's select this as SIP. Now, the next thing what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, enter further more parameters. So in order to do that, like what I'm going to do is I'm going to define this as the call manager IP address. So 172.16.0.160 and I'll leave all these authentication uh, parameters as blank. So I'll just define the call manager publisher IP address here and click on save. Okay, so now under the port group, what we have to do is like, we have to add uh, the ports here right now. So by default, there will be no ports added. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on add ports, click on go. And here you have to define the number of ports uh, you want to configure. So basically this means like how many ports you want to create between the call manager and the Unity connection. These are the CTI ports. And which means like uh, the number of ports you define, the number of simultaneous calls it can take. So let's uh, see, take another example. We'll go ahead and create 10 ports. Um, so I'll click on 10 and select uh, leave all the things as default and click on save so as soon as you create these ports it will start creating uh, the you know ports on the call manager oh okay as you see right uh, i don't have a sufficient number of license uh, because of which uh, i can configure on the maximum of two ports uh, in case of uh, call manager and unity connection because of the license restrictions so which means like um, only two ports are created at this moment. Okay, so I got one of my uh, phone registered to the call manager. So which means this is a SIP phone. So this is a SIP phone here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial the pilot number, which is like uh, 10,049 from this phone and see if it 
hits the unity connection or not from here. Hello, Cisco Unity Connection Messaging System. From a touch tone telephone, you so as you see, uh, we are able to successfully reach the Unity connection from here. So which means like at least the integration part is successfully working between the call manager and Unity connection. So I hope uh, this is going to be helpful for you. Uh, how, but one more thing I wanted to also highlight is in case of Unity connection, we have to configure the rerouting CSS as well to make sure like M deploy uh, configuration is working okay so i hope uh, this video is helpful for you um, do let me know if you have any feedback comments um, thank you for watching